What's up everybody? It's Kelly. I'm coming to you with this video. Um, it's very special to me. I went to Tanzania for my 30th birthday and I absolutely had a blast. Yes, I went by myself um, because I promised myself that I was going to go for my 30th uh, about five years ago and I made that happen. So hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed the trip. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so now we're driving out of Arusha, right? Where are we at? Yeah, we are at Munduli. Munduli. Munduli area. And we're going to... Chavagira National Park. Yeah, we're going to National Park. And I think we're going to stop in Rosai tomorrow? Yes. Okay. This is a lot of farmland. and get it today first and this is just a small town I'm negotiating my price for my shoes. Oh, no, everybody wants me to buy it. Oh, okay. Ah, uh -huh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, he did some negotiating for me, so <laughs> got some authentic items here. Very cool. So Fiti hooked me up with um, a place to charge my phone right there. Which is pretty cool. They have a <laughs> like an extension cord for you can see like an extension cord for the phone in the car. Which is dope. I'm having a really good time. It's it's really nice. Oh, you can't really see that. Hmm. I could have tried a little better, but yeah. So the Maasai are walking around literally everywhere. They walk really far, um, which is amazing to me because they really they really do, and they take care of the cattle and um, the sheep, goats. And he was telling me that the smaller boys, right? The small boys are the ones that do like sheep and goats and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then the older ones handle like the cattle, obviously, and stuff like that. So. All right. So y'all know I don't like monkeys, but there they go. So we're at Chirengiri National Park. And yes, there are monkeys everywhere. Um... I am going to be, I'm going to use the restroom and we're going to go to a little information center. There's shops and all kinds of stuff. And my guide is just paying for us to go in. So, yeah, there's a lot to do. So, there's warthogs. Um, there's more black-faced monkeys and Egyptian geese right by this pool of water. The warthogs are to the left there, hanging out. That's crazy. Yeah, they're grazing. <laughs> What was the name of the bird again on the back? Red bill the oxpecker. Okay. Red bill the oxpecker. Red bill oxpecker. Oh, it's not on her back anymore. It's actually uh, 
Uh, on their chest, yeah, it is. All right, so here's my first two lines of the trip. The one there on the left. You can only see like his hind legs and stuff. And there's one in the bush right there. Very neat. All right, so you just left the picnic area and one of the monkeys stole somebody's burger. That was just was kind of disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. It stole someone's burger, so that was pretty funny. Yeah, right off the table. I like, oh, wonder you go around here. This is Terengire. He's absolutely gorgeous. Maybe four or five, and there's some babies too. Alright, this is horrible cool quality on my phone, but that is my fourth animal on the big five today, which is really, really lucky, especially for the Karengarit uh, Park, but there's elephants over there too, uh, there they are, let me see back out a little bit, okay, so in the back of me, there's some lions in the tree, very cool. And I think they're sleeping. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. They love each other. Yes. We get to see them on trees. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Terengiri Sopa Lodge. Cool stuff. Okay, so we're still in the Terengiri Park, and so this is the um. The lodge, and this is my first lodge of my trip. Uh, yeah, and they have some cool decorations, and I think in here they've got like the safe box and stuff for you, fan. Um, you've got some a bathroom here, and I don't think there's AC. Wow, because <laughs> I don't think you need it actually. Um, you know, you might want it, but I don't think there's AC in here because they have fans. And it's also really chill out here. It's not, it's not bad at all. Like the temperature is really, it's not hot. And here's the mosquito nets and stuff like that. And they brought my um, bags up to the room and everything. And they also said that they come in and spray the mosquitoes um, while you're at dinner. view and there's a gazelle just ran past over there <laughs> if you saw that wow it looks like there's some other little there's some animals down there at the bottom all right so i'm on my way to a little dinner real quick um my guide he wants to he was like oh we should just go get food so that's cool and then after that i don't know i probably won't do much with sleep because i have to get back up in the morning at like seven or so because we start back out um we're going to a lake i forget what the name of the lake is but on my next little video i'll remember what it is but yeah this is it's really cute out here guys i'm loving the scene and 
just like the feel of everything is really really pretty i know with all these videos i look like a complete tourist but the lodge is nice and the view is beautiful and it smells so good in here i'm starving i hope fiti is here and actually really ready to eat <laughs> i'm hungry <laughs> and here is the view so nice that's really pretty african sunset excuse me tanzanian sunset and this is dining room I'm doing a little bit of shopping and so what was the name of your tribe again that does these Ma painting Konde. these carvings Makonde Makonde yes. okay from southern part of Tanzania is near Msumbiji okay yes and you said that this is only passed from down from father to son yes. the carving yes it is not taught in school or anything yes. like that so it's very neat it's very cool see I think I'm gonna buy some of the ebony wood ebony no yellow big and small it's a red banana yeah. um it's good it's kind of like the texture is different um it's more like dense it's actually better to me than a regular banana it's really good and there's a market that we're leaving now and wow it's beautiful here so what is this a region called is this Mayan Yara? River Mosquito. Mosquito River. Mosquito River. <laughs> it's a lot more um green. It's a lot more green and dense. Wow, those people are selling all kinds of things. Cool. This is a pretty place. I fell asleep for a second. I woke up. <laughs> was I asleep for a while? Sorry. Yeah, I was I don't know why I just fell asleep, but I still had like weird sleep patterns. Um yeah, but this is a really cool region. We're approaching like the, the, a more hilly mountain area and the lake, Mayanara, immediately, as soon, soon we'll be there. But this is a pretty cool experience too. <laughs> oh, he's really close. Okay, so far we've seen lots of animals at Lake Mayanyara. Um, and there were flamingos, but they're, they were very far, kind of far, so. But you can see them on the lake. You just have to really look closely, and um, if you have a very good camera, you could probably pick that up.
Alright, so I just want to capture the beauty of this place. Here's the mountain. It is gorgeous. The flamingos have moved, unfortunately, they're way far away. So here's the mountain. Oh, I love it. So we're in Caracu, which is just kind of close to, uh, we're close to the crater, right? Yep. Okay. I thought it was cool. That's like the 15 kilometers to go and go. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is it and there's a hair salon. Yeah. And then it's about 20 kilometers of the rim of Gorongoro Crater. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're on our way to um, Gorongoro. Did I say it right? I'm not really good with these names, y'all, but we're going to the crater. Hopefully, we'll see a rhino. Um, and the crater is really close to Hondo. Yeah. Ha Hondo? Is that yeah, Ha Hondo? Yeah. Hondo, uh, the coffee lodge. Uh, yeah. Karibu. Uh -huh. And um, so we should be there in like less than two kilometers or something like that. So we're, we're heading out now, and I'm gonna go ahead and get a shot of the, the scene stuff. It's really nice, it's very green here. It's really, really green and pretty. Um, it's like lots of rolling hills, gorgeous stuff. So we'll get to the crater, and then after that is the circuit. And the second is like this. 
big like the main gate to get to my stop. Okay. And this is where the rhinos are, right? And you're telling me that the rangers, they um, keep track of the rhinos on like an hourly basis and stuff? Basically? Yes, yes. Okay. So there's no poaching in here or anything like that. And the rhinos are really protected because they're endangered. And these are the black rhinos. Oh, look, we've got some friends coming up. <laughs> Booms. They're yeah. very busy all the time. Yeah. Look, here they are. They're fighting they're and stuff playing. right there. They're they're oh, they're playing. Yeah, playing. <laughs> but look, they're even around like everyone. They're, they they like know us. Look at this one. A friend. <laughs> so here is the area, and I'm super excited to to be here and see if I can get the last of my big five. <laughs> last one has kept them aside that were here here um, even after they started the, um, the conservation area yeah. it's really pretty yeah. so the rangers live here yeah. they probably take shifts and stuff and there's satellites and things for the rhinos um, like for them to observe the rhinos and million years ago. Wow. And this amazing. is the largest of all calderas in the world. It's not the deepest one. Deepest one is somewhere I don't know. I remember if it's in Japan. Uh-huh. Before, but I think it was in Japan. That is the largest one. It's the deepest one, but the Gorongoro is the largest caldera. The largest. And this is very famous because of the like we say. Wow. But the other calderas Why mostly people all over the world will be about maybe following like wildlife. Mm -hmm. They know more about Gorongoro because there is animals. Right. So other calderas, there is no animals, and that's why it's not making those clear calderas famous. So the, the the plant life here looks like there's cactus too. Yeah, this is a, a Euphorbia candelabra. It's kind of cactus too. Euphorbia candelabra. Um, and there are a lot of zebra. I'm at the top here <laughs> of the truck. I'm at the top. And the zebra are crossing as well as like a wildebeest.
the noise I've been waiting for like the entire trip. <laughs> Zebra like Winnie. <laughs> is one that came out of another pool. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I can hear them. So I think, you think they're two males or it's a male and a female? Two males. Okay. Yeah, wow, look at that mouth. And then compare what the land you I know, so these two passed some lions earlier that were sitting over there. Oh, wow. <laughs> the water buffalo just chased the lions off of that hill. Oh, there's that one. Oh, yep, they're not having it. A Maasai village. Um, and I think we're gonna be taking like pictures and buying things. Awesome. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love it. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. It looks great. <laughs> yeah, it looks great with the bay. 
It looks like cute. It's beautiful. I love it. Thank Masai you. Masai woman. Yeah, I love this. It's very pretty. Yes, Masai woman. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Okay. They're doing a dance, you said. You're doing a dance. No, you're you. Okay, so I love babies, but that baby is really yeah, cute. Looks, it looks <laughs> <laughs> I need to stay here? They will be around, so we have to stand here. Very nice. 